An attack helicopter, or gunship's helicopter, is an armed helicopter with the primary role of an attack aircraft. Attack helicopters are primarily meant for close infantry support. When an advancing army or marine force needs assistance to clear enemy, armor, tanks, smaller armored fighting vehicles, or even an overwhelming number of personnel, the ground forces call in for close infantry support in the form of attack choppers. In this video, we have categorized 10 most deadliest attack helicopter in the world. Number 10. Denel Ruhrvork. The Denel Ruhrvork, previously designated AH-2 and CSH-2 is an attack helicopter, manufactured by Denel Aviation of South Africa. Ruhrvork is Afrikaans for Red Falcon. Development of the type began in 1984, by the Atlas Aircraft Corporation. Its development is closely connected to the Atlas Oryx transport helicopter. Development of the Ruhrvork, was protracted due to the impact of limited budgets during the 1990s, desire to produce a highly advanced attack helicopter. The South African Air Force, ordered 12 Ruhrvork, designated the Ruhrvork, MK-1, in South African Air Force's service. The first of was officially handed over in April 2011. The helicopters are flown by 16 Squadron. Number 9. A-129 Mangusta. The Augusta, A-129 Mangusta, is an attack helicopter originally designed and produced by Italian company Augusta. It is the first attack helicopter, to be designed and produced wholly in Europe. It has been exclusively operated by the Italian Army, which introduced the type to service during 1990. The A-129 has undergone several combat deployments, seeing use in Somalia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. It has proven well suited to operating in hot climates, as well as quite flexible in the field. Number 8. Mil Mi-24. The Mil Mi-24, is a large attack helicopter and low-capacity troop transport, with room for eight passengers. It is produced by Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, and has been operated since 1972 by the Soviet Air Force and its successors, along with 48 other nations. In NATO circles, the export versions, MI-25 and MI-35, are denoted with a letter suffix as Hind D and Hind E. Soviet pilots called the MI-20 for the flying tank. This term used historically, with the famous World War II Soviet Illinois II Sturmovic armored ground attack aircraft. Number 7. CAIC, Z-10. CAIC, Z-10, or WZ-10, is a Chinese medium attack helicopter, developed for the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. It is designed primarily for anti-tank warfare missions, but has secondary air-to-air -air combat capability as well. It was initiated by Chief Designer Wu Ximing. The project had early Russian involvement with Kamuv Design Bureau of Russia, under a contract with the Chinese government, but the collaboration was abruptly stopped, due to fundamental design philosophy disagreements. The Chinese designers and their customer, the People Liberation Army General Armaments Department, preferred a lighter weight, more agile airframe with less emphasis on armor. The helicopter was further developed by Chang'e Aircraft Industries Corporation then locally manufactured. Number 6. T-129 ATAK. The T-129 ATAK is a twin-engine, tandem seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta platform. The T129 was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries with partner Augusta Westland. The helicopter is designed for advanced attack and reconnaissance missions in hot and high environments, and rough geography in both day and night conditions. The ATAK program was begun to meet the Turkish Armed Forces requirements for an attack and tactical reconnaissance helicopter. The T-129 is the result of the integration of Turkish-developed avionics, airframe modifications, and weapon systems onto the Augusta Westland A-129 airframe, with upgraded engines, transmission, and rotor blades. Number 5. Eurocopter Tiger. The Eurocopter Tiger is a four-blade, 
twin-engine attack helicopter which first entered service in 2003. It is manufactured by Airbus Helicopters, the successor company to Aerospatials and DASA's respective helicopter divisions. Development of the Tiger started during the Cold War, and it was initially intended as an anti-tank helicopter platform to be used against a Soviet ground invasion of Western Europe. During its prolonged development period, the Soviet Union collapsed, but France and Germany chose to proceed with the Tiger, developing it instead as a multi-role attack helicopter. The Tiger has the distinction of being the first all-composite helicopter developed in Europe, even the earliest models also incorporate other advanced features such as, glass cockpit, stealth technology, and high agility to increase its survivability. Number 4. Bell AH-1Z Viper The Bell AH-1Z Viper is an American twin-engine attack helicopter based on the AH-1W Super Cobra. That was developed for the United States Marine Corps as part of the H-1 upgrade program. The AH-1Z features a four-blade, bearing less, composite main rotor system, a prated transmission, and a new target sighting system. The AH-1Z, one of the latest members of the prolific Huey family, is also called Zulu Cobra, based on the military phonetic alphabet pronunciation of its variant letter. Number 3. KA-52 Alligator. The Kamuv KA-50 Black Shark, NATO reporting name Hokum A, is a single-seat Russian attack helicopter, with the distinctive coaxial rotor system of the Kamuv Design Bureau. It was designed in the 1980s, and adopted for service in the Russian Army in 1995, manufactured by the Progress Company in Arsnyard. It is the world's first operational helicopter with a rescue ejection system, used as a heavily armed scout helicopter. During the late 1990s, Kamuv and Israel Aerospace Industries developed a tandem seat cockpit version, the Kamuv KA-52 Erdogan, to compete in Turkey's attack helicopter competition. Kamuv also designed another two-seat variant. Number 2. MI-28 Havoc. The MIL MI-28, NATO reporting name Havoc, is a Russian all-weather, day-night, military tandem, two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter. It is an attack helicopter with no intended secondary transport capability, better optimized than the MIL MI-24 gunship for the role. It carries a single gun in an under-nose barbette, plus external loads carried on pylons beneath stub wings. The first production examples of the MI-28N completed factory flight and armament tests in late May 2006 and were received by the Russian Air Force on 2006. The MI-28N was officially accepted three years later, in October 2009. It was assumed the MI-28N would fully replace the older, MI-24 variant in the Russian armed forces. Number 1. Boeing AH-64 Apache The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tail wall type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. It is armed with a 30mm M230 chain gun, carried between the main landing gear, under the aircraft's forward fuselage, and four hardpoints mounted on stub wing pylons for carrying armament and stores. Typically a mixture of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rocket pods. The AH-64 has significant systems redundancy to improve combat survivability. What is your opinion about this categorization? Let us know in comment box. Thanks for watching the video.